So it's D-Day here, trying to get these baggers ready for Daytona. Aaron and Cam have been busting their ass trying to get all of the last minute details together to give this thing a little bit more motor and a little bit more steam. Our FTRs are already on the East Coast out at Lloyd's. Racing at Daytona, this bike's gonna be ridden by Bobby Fong, sponsored by SDI Racing and the Sacramento Mile. This bike is gonna be ridden by Frankie Garcia. Mission Foods has come on board, Motul, Bell Helmets, SNS Cycles, Geico Motorcycles, Saddleman, Dunlop Tires, always. So we're psyched to put these things on the racetrack and see what they can do. The thing with the baggers is that they do eat themselves. They're definitely not built for Daytona. Everything wears out just a little bit faster. They're taller, they weigh 620 pounds, so they weigh about 200 pounds more than a standard race bike. When you're spreading it across this bagger that is also eight inches longer than your standard super bike, these things are 62 inches long. Normally you connect the chassis from the swing arm straight to the neck. This chassis goes over the top of the motor, so these things do flex, but the crazy thing is they work. And with these sticky Dunlop tires, the bikes work surprisingly well. You're gonna see what happens at Daytona with these things. Indian versus Harley is gonna be a crazy battle. I may be riding this thing to Bennett's. Bennett's is about a mile away. Maybe riding this thing to Bennett's this afternoon. But let's go take a peek and say hi to some other folks and see what's going on here in the zone. Hey Rob, yeah. can we see the new apparel? Yeah, let's go check it out. Can we? Yeah, let's do it. Sick, we got new race apparel. I'm gonna put it on right now. Yeah, stuff came out. Woo! So our new team gear right here. So we did a little spin on John Player. Yeah. This is our John Player collection stuff. Classic so vintage race vibes. Yep. This is the team shirt. Not available. You will have to tear this off of one of uh, one of our team guys if you want to get one of these. But you can buy this one, which is our new John Player racing shirt and our new Super Hooligan race shirt geared towards our asphalt guys. Super Hooligan National Championship heavy bike motorcycle racing shirt and we've got our new team race hoodie as well. If you're looking to get any of these pieces, some of them you can get, some of them you can't, but check them on the website. Yeah, they'll be available at Daytona for purchase as well and they'll be on the website in the next few days. Dude, I'm about to steal this one. Take it. Cheers. All right. Pop a tag and run the hat too. Sick. Man, I feel like I'm at Daytona already right now. Here, I'll trade you a Makita hat. All right. Ciao. Solid? Yeah. Solid. All right. Let's go see what everybody else is doing. Thanks, Rob. No Appreciate it, man. RSD Marketing Arm, RSD Marketing Office. So I'll be doing all the social media to take over for RSD, Team RSD, and uh, Daytona Beach. It's top secret behind the scenes. That yeah. So this is a new box. So toolboxes that we've got going here and Josh knocked out some graphics. Josh also knocked out the graphics on all the race bikes. Those are tough as nails. That looks really good. You work on anything else, Josh? It's graphics, 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 and more graphics. Anything for Daytona? Tell me no. Yeah, I have to come up with the shot list for media, photographer, videographers. Maybe we should just take the whole shop and just burn this whole place down. Rolling. Yeah. You ever been to Razzles? I've never been to Razzles. Me neither. <laughs> if you guys, if you don't know about Razzles, Razzles is, um, it's a late night spot and it's a place for, uh, gen it's a gentleman's club. Some, some would call it a gentleman's club, other would call it a place where there are ladies of the night. Um, it's fantastic. I've never been there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? So, I was gonna go talk to our engineering and design team, but they're playing ping pong. Yeah, busy getting ready for Daytona, huh, guy? Yeah. <laughs> Brandon is finishing up some parts for the Challenger. This is a setup that we're running on Frankie's bike. A little preview of our new production risers. Frankie's kinda doing some product testing on the track for us. No better place to test your parts than on the racetrack. They work good on the racetrack, you pretty much know for sure they're gonna do the job on the street, so. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a little quick look at kind of the process that we go through when we are developing stuff, but this is all racetrack specific stuff, so we made a primary and an outer, but this is just to make sure that everything does what it's supposed to do. This actually has a clutch actuator in it. This is how you make it happen.
So we pretty much wrapped up the work on Bobby's bike, but we didn't get a chance to test it. Lucky for us, down the street, we've got Bennett's. It's a Long Beach icon, and it's a place we've always depended on. Eric's super rad, and he cut out some time for us to get this bike on the dyno today to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do for Daytona. Being that we didn't get a chance to go out and actually test the bikes on the racetrack, this is the next best thing. We're gonna go do a couple pulls, see how much horsepower this thing makes. Tell by the smile on my face, we saw some good numbers today. <laughs> Horsepower, <laughs> foot pounds of torque. Uh, we did one six gear pull, and it was good <laughs> mile an hour. So, super excited to see how this thing goes around the banking. Time to take it home, put it in the trailer, and get it to Daytona. I got it. I got the brake. One, two, three. Okay. Go, go, go. No, motherfuck you. Okay. Haha, <laughs> going to Daytona.